So we're going to talk about air resistance. So what two forces are acting on an object when it falls? So we have gravity and air resistance. So imagine dropping two pieces of paper. One is crumpled and the other is flat. Which one will reach the ground faster and why? Well, you can imagine the crumpled one would, right? And that's because it has less surface area. Less bits of the paper are going to catch the air on the way down. So when something falls, air resistance is going to act in the opposite direction of gravity. So that means that air resistance is going to act in the opposite direction of the object's motion. So the gravity is going to pull it down to make it fall, and then air resistance is going to push up on the object. So the amount of air resistance an object experiences depends on three things. It's going to depend on speed. It's traveling, the size of the object, and the shape of the object. So why do leaves, paper, and feathers fall at different speeds than acorns, pens, and glasses? Well, it's because of air resistance. Air resistance, not the mass of the object, is responsible for the difference in the object's falling speed. So now we're going to talk about terminal velocity. So an as an object falls, it's going to accelerate, right? And it's so that means its speed is going to increase. So the force of air resistance increases with its speed. The force of air resistance increases until it becomes large enough to cancel the force of gravity. So when the forces cancel each other out, the object no longer accelerates. The object then falls at a constant speed called terminal velocity. Terminal velocity is the highest velocity that a falling object will reach. A, a low terminal velocity allows the skydiver to land safely. So, given all that, why would a skydiver want to lay out flat versus standing up? Here's a hint. Think about our paper example, crumbled versus flat. So, did you think of the answer? Well, if you're laying flat, just like your flat piece of paper, you're going to have a larger air resistance, okay? So you're going to have you're going to catch more air and you're going to fall slower. Okay? So you're going to have a safer landing.